good day. Kindly follow me on my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. In this video for grade 8 mathematics, pag-uusapan natin ang tungkol sa proving inequalities in triangles. Okay, so the first theorem in inequality in two triangles is hinge theorem or SAS inequalities theorem. Wherein yung SAS that uh, stands for the side angle side na kung saan ang angle ay nasa pagitan ng dalawang sides. So the meaning of this given theorem, if two sides of one triangle are congruent to the two sides of another triangle, but the included angle of the first triangle is greater than the included angle of the second, then the third side of the first triangle is longer than the third side of the second. Next is the converse of hinge theorem or SSS inequality theorem na kung saan kapag sinabing SSS that stands for side, side, side or tatlong sides ng isang triangle. If two sides of one triangle are congruent to two sides of another triangle, but the third side of the first triangle is longer than the third side of the second, then the included angle of the first is larger than the included angle of the second. Okay, so let us now proceed on the examples. We have the given segment AF is equal to segment MR and measure of angle ARF is greater than the measure of angle ARM. And we have to prove that the measure of AF or segment AF is greater than the measure of the side AM. So, Para mag-proof tayo, kailangan meron tayong column para sa statements at column para sa results. And then, sa una or dalawang uh, row, pwede nating ilagay dyan yung ating mga given. So, first, segment AF is equal to segment MR and then for the reason that is given. Second, measure of angle ARF is greater than the measure of angle ARM and that is also the given. And then, yung pangatlong row, kailangan nating maglagay ng isang side wherein um, tutulong siya para ma-prove natin na ang AF ay greater than AM. So, since ang AF at AM ay um, opposite or magkatapat and then ang nasa gitna nila is this one, so ilagay natin na segment AR is equal to segment AR. Since naulit ang iisang segment, therefore the reason is reflexive property. And then, the last row ay para doon sa ating kailangang i-prove. So, segment AF is greater than segment AM. So, ang ilalagay nating reason dyan is hinge theorem or SAS inequalities theorem wherein meron tayong given um, included angle. So, ito yung angle na yun. Nasa gitna siya ng dalawang side which is yung side AF at side AM. So, sabi dyan, AF is greater than AM. So, meron tayong dalawang sides at isang angle na given. Therefore, uh, that is for SAS inequalities theorem. Another example, we have the given segment AM is congruent to segment HT. And we have to prove that segment AT is greater than the segment HM. So, kung mapapansin nyo, yung AM at TH ay may symbol na one line, meaning magkatulad sila ng measurement or ng sukat. So, again, let's have the statement and the reason. So, for the first row, let us write segment AM is congruent to segment HT and for the reason that is the given. And then, sa pangalawang row, kailangan nating maglagay ng isang statement na kung saan makakatulong siya para ma-prove natin ito. So, let us write, for example, the statement segment TM is congruent, or sorry, segment TM is equal to segment TM. And then since ang TM ay naulit lamang, therefore the reason is that is reflexive property. And then the last, ilagay na natin yung kailangan natin i-proof, segment AT is greater than segment HM. So since we are a weak focused on the sides, therefore the reason is Converse of Hinge Theorem or SSS Inequality Theorem. And then another example, we have the given segment AV is equal to segment EV. And then W or AW is greater than EW. 
we have to prove that the measure of angle WVE is greater than the measure of the angle WVA. Okay, so ang given, ang AV ay katulad ng sukat ng EV or VE. And then ang AW ay katulad, ay mas malaki sa measure ng WE. So kailangan nating i-prove na ang angle ng WVE ay mas malaki sa measure ng uh, WVA. Okay, so for the statement, we have the given, or the first statement, AV is equal to EV, that is the given. Another, AW is greater than EW, and that is also the given. And then for the third column, for example, isulat natin segment WV is equal to uh, segment WV. So, since tulad ang nakasulat sa left and right side ng equal sign, that is reflexive property. And then the last, measure of angle WVE is greater than the measure of angle WVA. So, since merong involved na sides at angles, which is this one, so the reason is, is Hinge Theorem or SAS Inequalities Theorem. So, let us now summarize what we have learned about this lesson. In proving inequalities in triangles, we have to use the Hinge Theorem or SAS Inequalities Theorem na kung saan involve ang dalawang sides at ang angle na nasa pagitan ng dalawang sides. And then, we have the converse of Hinge Theorem or SSS Inequality Theorem na kung saan involve naman ang tatlong sides ng isang triangle. Sana ay nakatulong ng video na ito sa inyong lesson. Thank you for watching. If you have questions or suggestions, feel free to comment below. Enjoy learning mathematics. God bless us all!